Welcome to the Tuesday Show with CJ and Ted. It is the Mega Music Marathon for Episode 7. Woohoo! We're here. We're here at last. We are here at last. It's a bit chilly outside and uh, far too early for this nonsense. What do you think? It is freezing outside and it's far too early for anything. You can blame the beast from the east for that. I blame the beast from the east. Well, I came out prepared for the beast from the east by wearing a woolly hat. (laughs) So, uh, (laughs) so no trousers, just a woolly hat. Just a woolly hat over my head. Anyway, we're here, we've got lots of music for you today, and we're going to start off with playing a track. We are, we're going to kick straight off then with a track called Tooth from Little Brother Eli. Uh, you can find him on soundcloud.com forward slash Little Brother Eli, and on Twitter at Little Bro Eli. He's also from Oxford in the UK, so he's a fairly local chap, which is quite nice. Anyway, this track's called Tooth, enjoy. The conversation dance to me, a dialogue was sick to me. I'm bored to the core, spit the pips out. Give me TLC or maybe TCP so I can walk while we marvel at your infamy. I get this fever and it drops me away. I guess your face made a hole in the heart.
And that was the late greats with River's Edge. Fantastic. Yeah. Where can we find the River's Edge? Uh, we can find the River's Edge um, on um, uh, Twitter, on the <laughs> underscore late greats. Good eh? Um And if anyone's interested in actually getting hold of their music, uh, they actually have their own website called thelategreatsband.com. You can go and buy their stuff. So please go and support them and buy, buy the music. Absolutely. Awesome. Should we just crack straight on? Yes. Who's going to say this bit? Uh, you go for it, go on. Okay, what was it? Uh, it's uh, uh, a bass and guitar track. Bass and guitar. We've had bass and guitar on the show before. We've got them again. This is Waiting For You from Bass and Guitar. How can I go on 
And that was clipped round the air by the Marigolds, and they're uh, they're in South uh, South Normanton uh, in the UK, and uh, you can find them on at the Marigolds UK on Twitter, and they're on Bandcamp and all the usual places. Uh, so there we go. That was really good, and uh, I'll tell you what, I feel like I've had a bit of a clip round the air today. Yeah, <laughs> why, why is that? <laughs> it's just been one of those mornings. I know. I'll tell you what, uh, at least we had breakfast. Yeah, thank God for mm. breakfast. No missing bacon on breakfast this time around. No, that's true. Yeah. Um, but I'll tell you what, so picture this, Ted, right? Okay, I shall. So, you know, you know, in cartoons, when someone's shouting, you, it usually does like this close-up into the mouth. You see the little dangly thing at the back of the throat wobbling about when they're screaming or something. Yeah, you know I know exactly about, what yeah? you mean. Yeah. I was at the gym the other day, and oh, yeah. there was a man... Drying his, you know, area, his undercarriage, <laughs> with a hair dryer, and it looks just like one of those tangly things from the cartoons. It was horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm quite comfortable with my sexuality. I have to point out, but I was mesmerised by this. I couldn't stop looking. <laughs> it was, I just what? Ah! Oh, ah! Dear. All I pictured it to my, you know, all that's going through my head was, ah, stop looking, <laughs> stop looking, stop looking. Oh, yeah, it was dear. a bit, um, <laughs> it was a bit horrendous. <laughs> oh, now that listeners have picked themselves up off the floor from understanding that I actually went to the gym for once. Yeah, um, that, that that is the that is the strange bit of the story, isn't it? Really? Yeah, I know. <laughs> but now we know what you go there for. No, I do not go there to look at gentlemen drying their undercarriage with a hairdryer. Thank you very much. So, on that note. On that note. <laughs> should we have a bit of a morning theme for the next couple of tracks? Let's have a morning theme. Let's have a great big morning theme with lots of morning. Lovely. So, this next one is called Morning Sun. It's by a chap called Rory Galanders, who we spoke to last week on the show. Mm-hmm. Um, it's from his EP, Tomorrow Means Nothing, which was released last year. Um, you can find his details on SoundCloud. You can get hold of him on Twitter, at Rory underscore Galanders. Um, so, enjoy this one. It's Morning Sun. Just where in this world I am We 
I'm blessed in every way for this life and all that's in it I'm surrounded by love, I'm not afraid to admit it Now I've woken and spoken, I'm making things different I bring nothing but warmth and it's coupled with sincerity It's nice to see the colours of this world, this vibrant clarity And pictures paint a thousand words like you are telling me There's nothing I can do to describe this kind of energy But I will try my best, I got wings on my back, fire in my chest But I digress, with it's a manifest You gotta open your eyes, take a breath And wake up Winter's over, time to shake up The colder nights we're facing A new era I'm grateful I'm grateful that you are here I haven't, Gigi. That was Gigi <laughs> La Volpe. Uh, that's J I J I La as in L A and Volpe as in V O L P E. And Gigi La Volpe is uh, a SoundClouder and also available to get in touch with on Twitter at Gigi La Fox. Gigi La Fox, not yeah. Gigi La Volpe. Uh, no, oh. I'm not La Fox, uh, the, fox, the Fox, as in English The Fox, like an English Fox, like, uh, uh, <laughs> can we think of an English Fox? Uh, uh, Mr. Fox. <laughs> Mr. Fox. <laughs> what, what about Basil Brush? Oh yeah, of course, Basil Brush, he's a fox, isn't he? He is indeed. I thought it was a bush. Ha, ha, ha. Boom, boom. Anyway, oh. uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I went there. Um, I'm probably asked this on a previous show, is Le Volpe French for the fox? I don't know. Why don't we know this yet? I don't know. Right, somebody Google it. Somebody Google it. I'm on it. I'm all okay, over you're, it. you're all over it. <laughs> you, you, you talk about something. Okay. Whilst, right. whilst oh, I Google it. Dear, dear, dear. <laughs> I, tell you, I tell you what I don't like all over. Mm. I tell you what. Um, and I was thinking about this the other day, because it's been really cold. Um, That's true. It's been really cold. And... Oh, God, one of my one of my colleagues was saying, "Oh, do you know what? You you see people out when they've got their ankles bare and the you know they're wearing shoes but no socks, and it's really really cold. Yeah, yeah. And you know you actually f- sort of feel for them. You feel cold for them. Yeah, yeah. no, I, I actually feel annoyed with them. Uh, <laughs> I, I feel annoyed with them for making me feel anxious. <laughs> it's it's like women. Women wear itchy sweaters. 
Do, do they? They, they do. They wear itchy sweat. They wear sweats okay. of all sorts throughout the year. Okay, yeah. uh, straight to the skin. <laughs> right <Right-o. laughs> Okay, and and that annoys me because yeah. they've got no regard for me and what <laughs> I feel about that. And they should stop it. They're so selfish. They're God so damn selfish. It. Stop doing things. Make yourself com- be comfortable. If you're all please as comfortable as possible, then I won't be anxious about it. I kid you not. If I could spend my days walking around in pajamas, oh, I'd be so happy. Or a onesie. Just, no. You've got I, a onesie, haven't you? No, I, I got rid of that a long Did time you? <laughs> what was it? Was it DPM? Was it? It was, yeah, Urban DPM <laughs> you, you, had a, you had a camouflage, yeah. uh, army style. It, it was. <laughs> okay, listeners. It, it was a, a joke present from a friend, because I, I, I do genuinely hate onesies, mm. and I hate them even more when I see people walking down the street wearing them. You know, with their trainers, quite mm, comfortable. Mm, you know, mm, just mm, like yeah, mm. I'm, I'm in a onesie, so what? You know, yeah. But I, I just don't like them. I don't like the look. I mean, so somebody bought me one as a as a joke present. You know, um, I won't name names, but it was surprisingly comfortable. I'll give yeah. you that. Yeah. But no, I got rid of it in the end because it was slightly too small. I'm a big guy, and you can't really yeah. buy onesies in my There's size. A lot of onesies around at the moment. Well, it had uh, World Book Day, so you get look, all the kids walking around. Ugh. Every, every child's a Dalmatian. You know, <laughs> <laughs> but your onesie didn't have ears. Did not have it. Well, it did, there, it didn't a, have a hood. Thankfully, th- there is a step towards adulthood. Although adulthood, hey, uh-huh. although, although I imagine a hooded onesie that was in my size, so it actually fit. Mm-hmm. I imagine it would be incredibly comfortable. Okay, I do sit at home wearing a hoodie, and I'll mm. just put the hood up just to kind of feel a bit more snug. I don't know. I'm so lonely. <laughs> 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 oh. oh, so yeah, people in onesies in the street. I don't get that. But actually, you know, if I could walk, if I could get away with walking around wearing a decent pair of pajamas all the time, I'd be because they are really comfortable. Yeah, um, and when I say pajamas, I mean like you know, really baggy sweatpants and and a hoodie. Yeah, that's my pajamas. Yeah, because it's really comfortable. Should we move on? We move on. <laughs> All right, then. We've got another track coming up for you, we then. We have got another track coming up. This one's from Somber Moon, one of the friends of the show. Uh, the track is called Hereafter. You can find it on sombermoon.bandcamp.com, and you can follow them on Twitter at Somber Moon. Alternative um, trance. So I've put this down as alternative trance. I don't actually know what they describe themselves as. Electropop. 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 So it's close. Alternative yeah. trance. I'll, I'll stick with alternative trance. Anyway, so I'm going to stop waffling. Here is Hereafter by Somber Moon.
And that was Homegrown, uh, and that was from Empire. Empire. With a Y. With a Y, not an I. With a Y. <laughs> With a Y, not an I. With a Y, not an I. With a Y, not an I. And they're in Northampton. They are. Um, they've got a load of gigs coming up, actually. Yeah. Um, you can check it all out on their website. 
Um, but yeah, I was looking through last night, and there's there's one coming up um, in Brackley, which isn't too far from us, on the 27th of April, considering going to it. Oh, yeah. Um, it's at a pub in Brackley, and Brackley, like I say, it's only 20 minutes away. Well, that's right. In fact, what, what day of the week is that? Uh, that's a good question. It is a good question. Te- well, what's te- text in now, 0777 <laughs> Cathedral City. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know. <laughs> uh, uh, let's have a quick look. Did, did, did we ever get to the bottom of your bit of Google research earlier? I forgot what Oh, it yeah, was. sorry. For yeah. Gigi Lavolpe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was it. Yeah, Lavolpe. What's yeah, Lavolpe yeah. is actually Spanish for the fox. Now, I'm sure, now ah, I've read that, right. I'm pretty sure we covered that on another show. No, I don't think we did. Do we not? No, we didn't. No. Yeah. Oh, I can't is remember. It Spanish for the fox. Spanish for the fox. Ah. Hence, Gigi the fox. Gigi the fox. Ah. So there we go. Si. Mr. Fox. Si. Mr. the fox. Uno, dos, tres. No, on those trays. <laughs> <laughs> He's from Barcelona. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh dear, that was right. good. Anyway, I'll tell you what, I was watching, uh, as I do quite a lot, watching a lot of TV. Yes. And there was an advert on where everyone was absorbing. You know what absorbing is, right? Yep. Um, Bum- the, bumbling down in a, in a ball. For those that don't know, it's basically you end up rolling down a hill in a giant inflatable ball. Mm-hmm. It's like a hamster ball that's inflated so you don't hurt yourself, or mm-hmm. hopefully. Um, no hamsters in No hamsters in the ball. Yeah. <laughs> Thankfully. <laughs> but I was watching this advert and I just suddenly thought, I'd, I'd really love to do that. I've never done that kind of, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not really into extreme sports. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that just seems like a lot of fun. Just basically, you got. I mean, you've got to try and keep your balance, I suppose, or else you just end up, you know, going head over heels. And Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a lot of fun, though. Okay. <laughs> well, what, what would be quite good is if you had something in there with you, not hamsters, not hamsters. Uh, but like, um, you know, like the contents of a ball pit. Or balls. So in balls in a ball. <laughs> balls in a ball. Uh-huh. Um, or, um, I don't know, a bunch of sponges. Okay, yeah. Uh, water. Water, That would yeah. be weird. Um, yeah. Custard. Custard. Mustard. Mustard. <laughs> An all-day breakfast. An all-day breakfast. <laughs> no tomatoes. No tomatoes or mushrooms. No tomatoes or mushrooms. <laughs> Otherwise, that would get messy, wouldn't it? Yeah, it totally would. Yeah, a few sausages knocking about. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, sausages flying around the place. <laughs> Some bacon rashes flapping around. <laughs> Oh, we need dear. to move away. We need to move away. Ah, so uh, absorbing, yeah, that'd be that'd be great fun for you. Would you I'm like sure. to do that with me? No, no. Oh, come on, man. No, that sounds like uh, cheese rolling, but just slightly more comfortable. <laughs> comfortable cheese rolling. <laughs> <laughs> cheese. That's something you could have in your. Um, what kind of cheese would you take into absorb? Oh, it'd have to be something that wasn't too messy. So I don't know, maybe just some mild cheddar, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. I would take mild cheddar absorbing with me. <laughs> if I was snowboarding, for example, I'd, I'd probably take some American cheese with me. Would you? Yeah. yeah. What squeezy cheese? Spray cheese. Che- cheese in a can. Now I need to know this, people. Please email slash get hold of us on Twitter or whatever. Mm. Can we buy spray cheese in the UK? Because I want to try this stuff. Because it's massive in America. Cheese that yeah, comes out of yeah, a can. Yeah, yeah. It sounds disgusting. It is. But I feel like I need to try it. Yeah. As a as a, a closet American, I feel yeah. like I need to try this stuff. Yeah. But it sounds revolting. Okay. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Um, okay. Um, so yeah, please just um, yeah. If you can, if you can't buy it, I suppose you could you could ask them at. Uh, uh, sort of where we got we got uh, Lake and Heath and places like that. They can yeah. get, get them to throw just, it over the fence. We'll just knock on the door at R. E. F. Crampton, <laughs> shall we? Excuse me, have you got any spray cheese? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Should we just play the next song? We we shall we shall. Awesome. And the next song is stargazing. Stargazing. That's from uh, Anna Jones, and uh, uh, let's hear it right now. All right. All righty. Have you ever been stargazing? Watched a comet cross the sky blazing And wished your dreams would all come true Have you ever thought of flying Like a bird across the sky gliding And leave your troubles drifting Oh, 
Hey Ted. Hey. I was just thinking to myself. Yeah. What we need right now is between tracks a mm-hmm. station ID. Yes. Now for those that aren't aware, uh, it's that bit you hear in between music on the radio where it kind of goes chow chow radio whatever. Waka waka waka. Yeah. Radio waka waka. Radio waka waka. That's for the uh, on the radio. Yeah. That's it. In your ears <laughs> on the radio. All the best tracks. Melting heart since 1976. It's Ted James on the radio. Exactly. So yeah, that kind of thing. Now yep. I meant to make one just for today's show, mm-hmm. um, but I didn't get around to it. So I thought between these two tracks, between Stargazing and the next one we're going to play, I thought we could make our own live, you know, recorded. Yep. As we're doing this. Okay. What do you think? I think let's give it a shot. Cool. All right. When I give you the signal. Okay. You know what to do. Okay. okay. What kind of signal are you going to give? I'm just going to do that. Oh, that's obscene. Do something different. How's about that? Okay, that's brilliant. Good. Right. This is great audio. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, anyway. Quiet, quiet. Okay. Quiet, quiet. Today's best music mix. FM. <laughs> On the Tuesday show. <laughs> the Tuesday show. In your ears. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
And that was uh, that was Team Spirit uh, from from the album After Hours by Guggens, uh, and uh, Guggens is from Min- Minneapolis, uh, which is easy for me to say in the U.S. <laughs> in the U.S. of A. Minneapolis, Minnesota, U.S.A. In Minnesota. Um, Are you a Vikings fan, Guggens? That's all I want to know. Vikings. Yeah, Minnesota Vikings. Oh, American football, uh, team. American football thing. So if you actually listen to the show, he'd know that I'm a Packers fan. He yeah. probably would never have given us any music. Go Pack Go. Go Pack Go. I think Hashtag. we've heard that a few times, haven't Hashtag. we? Hashtag. <laughs> anyway, Bandcamp uh, for Guggens. That's G U G G E N Z. Uh, if I know I'm uh, Bandcamp and uh, SoundCloud and various other places. And all that good stuff. All that great stuff. Yeah. Hey. We've got a few listeners in the States as well. We have, I think. And other places. And all over the world, I imagine. All over the world. In uh, fact, I was interested because we did have one in the, um, I don't know, what what do they call it now? The Federation of, no, it's not the Federation of um, uh, Russian, is it the C- Russian? CCCP. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> CCCP. That's what, you know, USSR that, was in that. In oh, Russia. sorry, I thought CCCP. that was what you had on your knee when you when you grazed it when you were a child. No, that's TCP. Yeah, or, or PCP. I don't oh, know. Something like that. <laughs> CFCs? What? CFC. Anyway, what have we got next? Oh dear, we've got some... Well, that's a good question. We've got some music, that's for sure. We've definitely got some more. We've got some music, and the music we've got is... It's a track called When You Borrowed My Light. Ah, yes. By The Lucky Face. Fantastic. um, Who we have had, you know, we've had Tim on the show already. Mm -hmm. Um, He's from London in the UK. You can find him on Twitter at The Lucky Face. Go to his website, theluckyface.co.uk. And this one is called When You Borrowed My Light. Is half full, but you'll never see it that way. It's time for a change. You'll find your perfect spot. You'll say it's just too cloudy. It's time for a change. You'll realize it. Is 
جام من گردی را بیان یا نکس بس Mr. You, and I really like that one. It leaves me quite optimistic, in fact. Uh, that's another one from Baz and Qatar. Um, and, uh, yeah, another great track. Another great track by Baz and Qatar. Indeed. So, um, maybe you can answer me a question, Ted. Okay, I'm sure I'll try. Just shopping trolleys in, a, in at the supermarket, yeah. being left in the car park, yes. just randomly, in, yeah. in parking spaces, yes or no? What do you mean, yes or no? Do you think it's acceptable? Well, no, obviously that's not acceptable. No. It's they don't belong in car parking spaces, because what belongs in car parking spaces? Cars. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but the number of times I go to the, the supermarket, right, and mm. there's just shopping trolleys everywhere. No, mm. And and I watch somebody. I was parked up. I was eating my lunch. I was on a lunch break. Yeah. I seem to be on a permanent lunch break for the most part. But anyway, that's by the by. <laughs> I was on my lunch break. Nine here. to five. <laughs> <laughs> lunch break, nine to five. Yeah. What a way to have your supper. <laughs> I don't know. I was going to go with sandwich, actually. Yeah. <laughs> what a way to have your sandwich. It's what a way. Chicken bap. <laughs> <laughs> and a boiled egg. Yeah. But anyway. Do I'll you ever have those boiled eggs in pots? I have boiled eggs wrapped in sausage meat and breadcrumbs. It's called ah, a scotch egg. scotch egg, yeah. Hey. Yeah. But anyway, so I sat in the car eating my lunch, and yeah. literally, I saw somebody loading their shopping into the back of the car, mm-hmm. and then just and the 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 bit where you put your trolley when you're done with it, the little trolley bay, mm-hmm. was like ten feet from them, and yeah. they just left the trolley in the parking space next to their car. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. I almost just wound down my window and shouted at them. Well, you should do. The thing is, there's there's a word for people like that, and not one we're going to use on the show. Lazy. Oh, we can use that, yeah. There so, you go. Yeah, lazy. Like, we'll just stick with lazy for the moment. La- lazy, feckless people that could have just walked a couple of yards. Yeah. They ruin it for the rest of us. That's it. But the thing is, because it was then right next to my car, and I'm sitting there thinking, anyone that looks at me mm. and then sees the trolley is mm. going to think that I've done that. Yeah, I think you'd done that. No, no. I just, it's just not fair. Yeah, people no, are just so not. inconsiderate. They are. Anyway, enough of moaning. Uh, we're it's, gonna... it's, it's, it's the same with the itchy jumpers. Yeah, people I know. are just inconsiderate. Just don't think about the little I, guys. I, oh, I tell you something else that people are inconsiderate about. Go on. I forgot what it is. Hang on. <laughs> oh, do you know what? I was, I was, I was irate about it as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I was livid. Oh, 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 dear. Oh. Oh, it'll it'll come. We'll, we'll, to me. we'll come back Some, to that. Something's been <laughs> something's been niggling me about people and they're inconsiderate. Oh, I tell you what it is. Go on. Uh, I, I, might, I don't know, I might have mentioned this before, um, because you know how sometimes we, we arrange to meet at a particular time? Yeah. And we don't necessarily mm. get to that place at that particular time? Yeah, we're, we're good at that. Okay, so, alright, that, so that's being late, mm-hmm. which is down to circumstances. Things get in the way, yeah. traffic, yeah. The life, other happens. Thing, life happens, and all that sort of thing. Right, being early... Mm. Being early is inconsiderate. Is Be- it? Yes, being early is taking a time and, and a plan that you've already made with somebody mm. and disregarding it completely. Just throwing it out of the window. Throwing it out of the window. No, no, I'm not going to... Yeah, we said we'll meet at nine o'clock, but actually I'm going to turn up at quarter two. <laughs> and when and when you do turn up at two minutes past nine, I'm going to say I was here at qu- from <laughs> uh, yeah, quarter two, just to make you feel bad. But in actual fact, I spent quarter of an hour wasting my own time. <laughs> you know, that that's, that is inconsiderate. People who are early, people who think that a, a given time is actually five minutes earlier than that. Do you reckon? Oh, you've got to turn up five minutes early. We'll turn, turn up five minutes early. If we say nine o'clock, we've been five two. No, 
No. No. <laughs> no. 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 I am not ready for you at five two. Go away and come back slightly late. I might have some respect for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you reckon that I could get away with that at a job interview? Mm. Not that I foresee I'm going to have a job job interview anytime soon, unless, of course, my boss listens to this podcast. Then <laughs> I don't know. I might have to look, start looking for a job. <laughs> but do you reckon you know you could use that as an excuse? You know, the boss turns up and goes, "Why are you 15 minutes early?" Because I'm supposed to be. No, no, no. I said nine o'clock. Off your trot. Come back at just after nine o'clock. Mm, mm, mm. Can I have you as a boss? I think that'd be great. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> Probably get sacked for being late. Well, yeah, there, there is that. <laughs> Anyway, let's move on, shall we? Yes, let's move on. <laughs> let's move on. Anyway, moving on, moving on. We've got another track now. This one's called Rain. This one's by Shiraz featuring Sam Robinson. Um, you can find the details at shiraz1.bandcamp.com and at official Shiraz uh, on Twitter. She's from Kidderminster in the UK. Uh, and like I say, this track is called Rain. I hope you enjoy it. Here comes the rain again. Here comes my pain again On my mind I can't hide it Toys for me I'll hide from the storm I'll keep myself warm You remind me of who I really was You make me smile With the way your body was
Tomorrow means nothing by Rory Galandez. Uh, we've had some music from him already, and all his details will uh, will follow up in the description as well. Indeed. So um, I quite like that one. It's quite a soft, mellow, mm. you know, quite chill out. You know. mm. Yeah. Yeah. You like a bit of everything, don't you? You like a bit of a chill out. You like a bit of head bopping. Yeah. Oh, you can't beat the head bopping. You can't <laughs> beat the head bopping. You cannot beat the head bopping. What have you got on your head today? I've got a woolly hat because it's cold. Mm. It's not you, cold in here. Right. You 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 do look. If you don't mind me saying. Mm. Uh, and if you do, you're probably too yeah. tough. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say you look a little bit like um, a uh, what do you call it? A gnome. A gnome. A gnome. Like a garden, like a garden gnome. gnome. Has it got a big long thing on the top? No, it's just got. A, it's know, got a little, bubble. It's got a little bubble. Uh, yeah, that's true. I don't know many gnomes that have bubble. But, but I, I, I but get the. I, I reckon. I reckon if if I give you a fishing rod. <laughs> <laughs> And put then your, I could eat for the rest of I, my life. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> uh, give a man a bobbly hat. Yep, he eats for a day. Look at <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, I'm not surprised you're wearing a bobbly hat, though. No, considering the weather, it's bloody cold outside. Yes, it's not particularly cold in here. The problem is hat hair, but that's hat, by the by. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's really so, cold out there. Now, what are, we, what are we actually dealing with now? Are we still dealing with the beast from the east? Or have we got Storm Emma? I don't know. I think the weatherman can't seem to make the mind up at the moment. Um, it's supposed to snow, then it's not supposed to snow. Mm-hmm. and I think it's just a combination. We, we've got the beast from the east, obviously, coming in from the east. Mm-hmm. Um, down those eastern Europeans. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a joke, by the way. Sorry. <laughs> no no offence, any eastern Europeans listening. We it's, love, a, it's, we, a, it's a Russian conspiracy. It is totally yeah. a Russian conspiracy. Moving on, um, followed by yeah. or combined with uh, Storm Emma, which I think is coming from the west, and yeah. they've basically decided to have a massive, you know, get together above England and mm-hmm. produce a lot of snow babies. Okay, okay. So, uh, which yeah. is the worst weather? <laughs> you. Just- <laughs> <laughs> There's only one way to find out. <laughs> well, actually, interestingly, you yeah. talk about talking about snow babies. I heard on the radio the other day that um, yeah. uh, the NHS slash government slash other people are concerned mm-hmm. about a baby boom in November. Really, this year, yeah, okay. because of the freak weather. Freak weather. Because the freak weather has, has meant that lots of people have stayed in and have decided to stay warm under the covers. And we all know what happens when uh, people like to stay warm under in the November. Covers. Yeah, that's what they said. Oh. February, March, April, March, April June, May, June, July, August, August September, September, November. Yeah, nine months. Mm, yeah, but do you know it? It's not really nine months. No, it's 40, 40, 40, 40 weeks. weeks yeah, it? yeah. So actually, it's 10 months. Why couldn't it just be 40 winks? That would be so much I better. Know, I don't know. I don't know why we've got this nine months thing. I think it's nine months from. Well, if you. It's 40 divided by you know, four weeks in a month makes nine months. Yeah, but it is genuinely longer than. I mean, it's not like an elephant, but it's, no. it's genuinely longer than, God, than, you imagine? than actually oh. nine Oh, that would be ridiculous, wouldn't Two it? Two years. Oof. Oh, I couldn't, couldn't cope with that. Two years of looking like an elephant. Yeah. Dear Lord. I mean, I'd, well, I've got, but, so I I've wouldn't got, have to cope with it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was just about to say, I've it got... It would be a breeze. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, I think. Well, I was just thinking, I've got 32 years of looking like an elephant, so it doesn't, you know, it doesn't affect me. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure <laughs> you must have been svelte at some point. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> 
When you were snow baby. <laughs> when, when I was a snow baby, yeah. So, um, but it does make me wonder. Uh, do you know what I was thinking? You know we were talking about absorbing earlier? Yeah. I was thinking about absorbing when uh, when I did give you a warning that the, 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 the little road down to the... Which is a hill, by the way. Mm. Uh, the road down to the studio is a little bit snow covered. It is a bit slippery. I was a mind. little bit concerned that you might actually end up absorbing down in the car <laughs> rather than driving yeah. down. Never doubt my skills as a snow driver. Yeah. Now, I don't drive a 4x4, four four, but I do know how to control my car. Excellent. Fortunately. Um, it's amazing the number of people that don't know. <laughs> I know. Um, I mean, I'm all for staying safe. I'm all for driving slow. I'm mm-hmm. all for, you know, just being careful when it is snowing mm-hmm. and the road is slippery mm-hmm. and greasy mm-hmm. or whatever. But some people just take it way too far. Mm. And are either crawling along when they don't need to, mm. or they're driving like Nigel Mansell. Mm. You know, for those who don't remember who Nigel Mansell is, he was a Formula One driver. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe Lewis Hamilton would be more topical nowadays, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, people people <laughs> drive like Lewis Hamilton on on snow covered roads. Yeah, um, it's a modern reference. <laughs> yeah, modern references. Yeah, <laughs> um, but yeah, it it, does, it concerns the crap out of me. Yeah. It scares yeah. me as well. I mean, yeah. like I say, be safe, yeah. whatever. Right. You feel, you feel like winding the window down and shouting, I say, who do you think you are? Sterling Moss? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Topical reference. Yeah, absolutely. So, moving on. It's only because I haven't got a handbrake on my car. Have you so not got a handbrake on your car? No. How, always... how can you have a car without a handbrake? It's an electronic thing now. Oh, it's not I a see. proper handbrake, so I can pull it up, turn oh. the wheel, and go sideways around the oh, roundabout. You can't go... Oh, That's just... why I now drive sensibly. Oh, I see. you forced into the situation. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, anyway. <laughs> so um, you will remember. Um, we well, will remember because I think we've already um, do, 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 do. we've already played a song from the Lucky Face. We have uh, today. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've got another one. This is called Loretta. Now this is the radio edit, mm. uh, which we which we were sent because we did have the other version. But this is the radio edit. Uh, so some of the uh, some of the slightly naughty words have been beeped out. <laughs> Uh, so we've got some noises and some beeps and some other bits and pieces uh, so you don't hear the word shite. It makes it fun. <laughs> Let's play.
Alrighty then, that one was Drive from Empire from their self-titled EP, uh, number EP1 from 2015. And you can get all the information on that at empire.co.uk. And that was the penultimate uh, track of the show, uh, this being the mega... Mofo music marathon, music <laughs> marathon monster mash marathon. He did the mash show. He did the monster mash. The monster mash. Ba 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 bum. Ba 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 bum bum bum. Listen, thank you to everybody for their contributions to this show. Uh, whether it be music, whether it be just simply listening to it, um, and uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll do uh, we'll do something similar again. So keep. The music coming in. Yeah, uh, we do. Uh, we do want your tracks uh, for, uh, for the show, um, and uh, especially a future mega monster marathon mash mustard 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 mash potatoes. No, that's what we should have called the show. Mustard, mustard mash. mash. Yeah, that's ah, not a bad show. Yeah, monster mega mon- monster monster mega mustard mash. You can say monster because that's cheese. Is this type of cheese? Yeah, okay. monster. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cheese. 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 Anyway, um, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's getting getting close to lunchtime. So, yeah. um, without further ado, um, the, the show, the Tuesday show. Um, where, how do we get into that's it? We're done. So, as usual, get us on Twitter at Tuesday underscore podcast on Facebook at the Tuesday Show Podcast. Uh, and on Instagram at the Tuesday Show, you can get Ted James at, uh, at Ted James Media on all three, and you can get myself on all three at CJ Brooks FM. So that's it. Um, it's been a great show. I've really enjoyed myself. I think Ted's really enjoyed himself as well. And uh, yes, I have. Sorry, yeah. thought about <laughs> yeah, Sorry, yeah. I, 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 <laughs> deep in thought. I, I was then. just being silent there. Sorry, you, I, will, I will interject. Don't, you were, you don't were, worry, I'll clear up afterwards. You were reminiscing on how good the show was. <laughs> I was <laughs> Al- already, already looking back with rose-tinted glasses. Absolutely. At what, what was? Uh, yeah, that's nostalgia for you. Anyway, not, not what it used to be. No. Anyway, uh, I am CJ Brooks. He is Ted James. Thank you very much for listening. And uh, and now, just to play us out, uh, we've got uh, Blurred Reality, uh, which is the Nature of Wires remix, and that's from Somber Moon. And I was listening to this yesterday. I love this track. I'm sure you will too. Let's have it. <laughs> 